My dear friend, with this I will start the program and go back to my seat and look, put this way, is somebody called Narendra Modi, he couldn't set foot on American soil for 10 years. He contests election, brings his party to majority parliament before he saw his prime minister, president of the U.S. phones him, invites him, he goes to U.S. resounding successful budget, he comes back and then 15 days back, on a Twitter, he says, I, will, I, might, I hope to have my friend over for Republican Parade half an hour. Within half an hour or earlier, there's official confirmation he will come. It looks like a stuff from Manmohan Desai, Bombay, Bollywood blockbuster. You can name this as film of six months in the life of Narendra Damodar Modi. Now tell me, with all this emotion, sentiment aside, how do you see the summit meeting in September, what according to have been the major takeaways from that summit? Michael, you have five minutes. Um, first, I'll steal from my own five minutes just to thank IAFA and to thank the uh, University of Chicago Center here in Delhi uh, for this opportunity and thank all of you for coming. Uh, it is indeed, I think, uh, an incredibly exciting, and the word is very overused, but I think it's appropriate in this case, a very historic moment for us India relations. Um, I, I would say, before talking too much about this historic moment and opportunity, I think it is important to recognize that India-U.S. partnership has been building over the years and has really had support from various parties on both sides. Um, in the United States, both the Democratic Party and the Republican Party um, have, have supported stronger relations with India. Um, it's one of the very few things our two parties in the Congress can actually agree on. Um, you have uh, both Republicans and Democrats supporting the India caucus and supporting the relationship. We don't agree on much these days politically, but India we agree on, so I thank you for that. Um, and on the uh, Indian side as well, I think um, we've seen uh, from the days of Prime Minister Vajpayee and uh, through the UPA government um, till today a support for growing the partnership and the relationship between the United States. So I think there is a historic uh, sort of trend to it. Um, and I think what has happened in the last few months, in the last six months, is that you've seen that trend really get um, kicked up a notch. Um, from, as you say, the, the phone call to congratulate the Prime Minister on his election, then following a whole series of events leading up to the Prime Minister's incredibly successful trip to the United States, the historic invitation to come for the first time to have the U.S. as the chief guest at Republic Day, which is a huge honor for the U.S. Um, I think there's, there's been a lot that shows that this, is, this whole relationship really has ramped up. It's been growing, it's been deepening, it's been broadening, but this is a, is a real, as, as we call it, uh, as you call it in the title for this evening's program, a real paradigm shift. Um, I think of it mostly in terms of a tempo issue. Um, when you look at just sort of, I just off the top of my head without even thinking, if I look at the list of really high level engagements between India and the United States over the past six months, um, it's A, it's exhausting, um, but B, it's, it's also quite telling. So you had the phone call. Very, very soon after the phone call, you had the decision and then the holding of our strategic dialogue, uh, which is an annual event where the, top, the Secretary of State, the Minister of External Affairs, and their teams get together to talk about our bilateral partnership. Um, it was decided to hold that in Delhi, given the new government. Secretary of State Kerry came, Secretary Pritzker, our Secretary of Commerce, came with him, which was uh, very unusual and a, and a special step. Um, had very, very good meetings with various government officials here. Almost immediately following their visit, Secretary of Defense Hegel came to talk about the defense relationship. And so within a matter of two weeks, we had three cabinet-level officials coming to India, which is fairly unheard of in terms of high-level U.S. government interest in foreign affairs. Immediately thereafter, the Prime Minister's trip to Wash New York and Washington, which I think was particularly important, frankly, in terms of the popular opinion and the popular perception of India. To have the Prime Minister go in New York, uh, as many, many people before me have said, sort of achieve that rock star status of packing Madison Square Garden, talking to the people, um, really sending a message that India wanted to engage and wanted to be involved with the U.S., um, to engage the Indian community in the U.S. in that partnership. Um, that was, was something quite special. And then to go to Washington and have the sort of 
personal connection with President Obama, which is important ultimately in foreign affairs, to have a personal relationship among leaders to build on. I think that was a huge step. Immediately after the Prime Minister's visit, we hosted here for the first time ever, the United States was the partner country for India's technology summit held out in Greater Noida. Again, India has had foreign partners before, but never the United States. And so this year, for the first time, India was uh, chose the United States as a partner. We had somewhere between 80 to 100 very senior level US government officials visiting for that tech summit, a delegation led by the White House Science and Technology Advisor, Dr. Holdren. Um, frankly, we had so many people in Delhi that week that I lost count, so that's why I'm saying between 80 to 100. Uh, fortunately, we didn't lose any of the visitors. They all came, did their meetings, and got out. Um, but that was an another very important meeting, um, followed upon almost immediately by the Trade Policy Forum, an organization, a group where the two sides get together to talk about the various trade issues. And trade issues obviously being something that have been uh, fairly sensitive and uh, fairly um, uh, difficult to discuss at times, uh, but we had our U.S. Trade Representative Michael Froman here. He discussed that. So all in all, let me just say the number of visits and the number of topics that they addressed, defense, e energy, smart cities, space, trade, health, economics, commerce, I mean that we've been discussing those. We discussed them under UPA. We discussed them previously under the NDA. But to discuss them at this tempo, at this level, in this depth, is truly transformed. Okay, thank you.